Hello guys, welcome to episode 8 of our Access Control Explanatory Series. In this episode, we are going to go over AC8 system use notification. But as always, please hit the subscribe button to help grow the channel. And also smash the like button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you and let's get started. System use notification. This is the principle of access control that provides appropriate privacy and security notice and warnings based on associated privacy and security policies and remains on the screen until the user takes explicit action to accept the notice and log onto the information system or onto the network. Organization use a system use notification to inform persons accessing the system of authorization requirements as well as to get users acceptance of terms and conditions before logging in. This is an example of system use notification. You see, it has all the required language in here and also the user has to accept it explicitly by clicking on the OK to agree to that. That is, that is more binding, right, before they can continue and log into the system. All right, so now let's read the control requirement in 853 revision 5 for ac8 ac8 system use notification the control requirement a display assignment organization defines system use notification message or banner to users before granting access to the system that provide privacy and security notices consistent with applicable laws executive orders directive, regulations, policy, standard, and guidelines, and state that it has to state the following. Users are accessing a U.S. government or any other organization if they want to mimic this control. System usage must be monitored, recorded, and subject to audit. Unauthorized use of the system is prohibited and subject to criminal and civil penalties, and use of the system indicate consent to monitoring and recording. So however you write the warning banner, it has to state these guidelines. So you have to state all of this then in your warning banner. All right, moving on. B, retain the notification message or banner on the screen until users acknowledge the usage conditions and take explicit actions to log on to or further access the system. And C, for publicly accessible systems, Display system use information. Assignment organization define condition before granting further access to the publicly accessible system. Two, display references, if any, to monitoring, recording, or auditing that are consistent with privacy accommodation for such system that generally prohibit those activities. And number three, include a description of the authorized uses of the system. All right, so the takeaway point here is that whenever you have a system that is internal or a system that is external, that is, people can, you know, uh, interact with the system uh, externally, you know, from the people internal to the organization or the agency, the language in the warning banner is kind of different because of a uh, uh, legal requirement here and there. So as an experience, I had a, uh, the privilege of, you know, updating some of our uh, my warning banners for my system and then um, because the system was a public facing system that uh, interact with uh, external users that log into that system you know to interact with the government when I created that warning banner you know I, I thought that was it so I sent it to the admins and then but I was quickly called to order that no 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 you cannot just do that you have to send it to the legal department to the privacy department for them to vet all the language you have in there and it is according or it is in line with the law so the takeaway point here again is if you're writing this uh, warning banner take note if the system is internal facing to the uh, the people working within the agency it's different than when you're writing this to a system that is uh, external facing, you know, that people outside the agencies interact with the system. The language and the uh, legal and the privacy requirement are different. 
So you need to have a legal and a privacy team take a look at that and review that before it is uploaded to the system. All right, so now let's go over the discussion. You know, this is uh, to further explain what the requirement of the control is. So system use notifications can be implemented using messages or warning banners displayed before individuals log into the systems. System use notifications are used only for access via logon interface with human users. Notifications are not required when human interfaces do not exist. So that is if you have a service account that interact, you know, with another service account, then you don't need a banner because there's gonna there's not gonna be a human interaction for uh, an explicit acceptance before moving on. So service account, you don't need a notification banner. Based on an assessment of risk, organizations consider whether or not a secondary system use notification is needed to access applications or other system resources after the initial network logon. Organization consider system use notification message or banners display in multiple languages based on the organizational needs and the demographics of the system users. Organizations consult with privacy office for input regarding privacy messages and the office of the general counsel or organizational equivalent for legal review and approval of warning banner content again that kind of enforces the point that i just made especially when the system is a public facing system you have to have the the privacy and the legal office review those warning banner before they go live all right moving on control requirement simplifications so this control is to ensure that users explicitly accept a system use notification that is a warning banner before access is granted to the information system or the organization's network. And now what are some of the benefits of system use notification? It serves as a deterrent to malicious or bad actors who might want to gain access to the organization's network or the information system to perform unauthorized activities. All right, moving on. Now let's look at the control assessment approach. To ensure this control is in place and functioning as intended, that is the design and functional or operational effectiveness, we do the following. We obtain and examine the access control policy and procedure, the dash one control. We obtain and examine system security plan, the SSP, to read the warning banner requirement for the organizations. We request a screenshot of the organization warning banner. Compare the language on the screenshot to the language in the policy and the SSP. We make sure that the warning banner explicitly say the user must accept the warning before proceeding. And again, as an addition, if the screenshot is provided to you, you can also request to see the live system in action. What do I mean by that? Like you request for someone to log, initially try to log onto the system and see if the warning banner displays and then see what action you know is required for the system to actually go ahead and log the person in if the person has to explicitly accept that by clicking on the okay before the system goes on and log in the and log the person into the system or displaying and then automatically the system just log the person on that is not allowed you have to see if the system will not move or will not do anything else until the user click on that accept or okay before they go ahead and log into the system you can have a walkthrough and have somebody with an with an access to the system try logging in initially and then see how the banner display and what action the user is required to perform before going ahead and you know gaining access to the system all right folks that's it for this episode our next episode will be on ac9 previous logon notification if you like this control series, you can support me to create more of these videos by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm to expose these videos to a lot of people. Thank you and I will see you in our next episode.